Hello everybody. Today we'll be taking a look at WP Autoblog, which is currently on a AppSumo lifetime deal. And um, I'm just gonna quickly go over the tool, insights, how you can use it, benefits, features, et cetera, et cetera. And uh, basically what this tool is, is it's an AI generator, AI full, uh, full, full length blog content AI generator, which then you can automate posting onto your WordPress website. So they have integrations directly with the WordPress website. Now I actually haven't set that up because for me specifically, all the videos and reviews that I do, I usually make it in the guise of how I can use it in my personal business. And I generally don't like to automate blog content posting because it's not best practice for SEO. When you have hundreds of articles that are being posted all the time, it's like quality assurance is a nightmare and I don't, I don't want to deal with that. But in general, I want, what I want to in this video see is what are the capabilities in terms of the actual blog content? How likely is it AI generated? Um, is the quality good? So those things. Now I already did test a couple of these out. I got uh, plan one, which you get 25 articles per month. Um, you can connect to unlimited websites uh, per, you can un connect to unlimited websites. You have 500 keyword searches per month. You have um, it's SEO optimized. It uh, supports multiple languages. You have long content, long blo uh, blog post content. Content. Um, it extracts stock photos. Um, you have auto linking and you have custom writing styles as well. And each other tier basically gets you more articles per month. So 50 articles for tier two and uh, for plan three, you have uh, um, 150 articles. Now, what I wanted to know is what it uses for the underlying AI model to write the actual content. So I took, I did take a look at it. So initially when the tool first came out, it used GPT-4.4 and GPT-4.0. So GPT-4 uh, for Turbo and 4.0 as well as Cloud 3 and everything is included. No keys required. Obviously, it won't write about adult topics or anything that's not appropriate. But I did talk to the founder on Facebook and they did mention that now it's using Cloud 3.5 Sonnet for the content. Now, once you log in, actually, just before we take a look at that, let's look at take a look at the reviews. So let me refresh that again. And uh, let's go to reviews. Uh, 69 reviews. Basically, it has... Uh, four and a half stars, 4.6, 4.7 stars. If we go back to the reviews, let's uh, sort by the lowest rating. Um, so we have a one star here where the per person mentioned that the customer, excuse me, when the, the customer support is shocking. Um, my, my site had one post, which is why the CTA failed. I'm not gonna read the whole thing. Let's look at the response. The error you experienced was sadly caused by your non-functional website, which was in maintenance mode, which I tried to visit and it was completely empty. As you know, we spent a lot of time helping you and go, uh, got back to your got back to you. Your first support request in under two hours after the advice we provided, you confirmed everything was working fine, but sadly you decided to put, uh, post this to cut together. Okay, so I would say at least they're responding. Um, not yet ready, not yet ready for the market. A lot of SEO bugs. Um, so additionally, the tool currently exhibits significant SEO weaknesses compared to its four well-known competitors and lacks an automated workflow. Uh, even when articles are created using keywords, the full title is used as a slug instead of just a keyword. Furthermore, when the articles are created with keywords, the titles are too long, et cetera, et cetera. Unconvenient but needs improvement. So it is convenient, but um, I, I will leave you guys my thought because I already, I already have... I already know what I'm going to say in terms of my review, but let's take a look at it. So generally you have the dashboard where you have all the other, uh, uh, po like all the posts that you publish, like not published, but basically it's uh, written for you. You have a uh, keyword research, which where you can do here. So for example, let's do like, um, addiction treatment in Canada and uh, let's go research and it gives you related keywords. And based on those related keywords, you can actually create a short list to, cre uh, to create articles. And it spins up an article based on the keywords that you uh, want to create uh, an article for. So for example, let's do inpatient drug treatment near me. Let's shortlist that. Um, the cost per click is uh, qu quite high, um, but it does get a lot of searches. And then let's go now down and uh, let's look at um, best rehab in the world. Um, and then let's go down. This is this is this seems like it would be a good article to write about. So let's do in-home alcohol rehab, and then, so let's do that. Scroll down. Oh, sorry. It's, the yellow, the higher the number, the more yellow it is. So it's not necessarily a good good one to do. Let's do um, let's do something like. Okay, let's just do that. So I'm gonna get rid of the last one here. And I'm going to create, so what it's going to do is then you can create two articles based on the keywords that you just shortlisted. I'm going to create two articles 
and uh, it's gonna give you the two, two keywords here and then you can uh, break it down so you can add if you wanna schedule immediately. Um, but because I don't have a website connected, uh, it won't schedule anything. Um, it's just gonna have it published on the this web, on this on uh, tool itself. Um, you can also add additional images, tables, key takeaways. I don't want key takeaways. Uh, let's add internal links and uh, let's maybe add uh, YouTube videos and let's do something like uh, casual and friendly. Um, so they have something called undetectable mode, which basically makes the text pass AI de detectors, but it lowers the quality and removes the subtitles. So I, didn't, I tried this before and it still got 100% AI generated content, but I'll click on that as well anyways, just to check it out. And uh, you can disable image upload. There's a, you can add additional keywords. So I wanna test this. I wanna be like um, Toronto Raptors, because I'm from Toronto. I just wanna see if it, adds Toronto Raptors at all to this article or any of these articles. And then I'm gonna click on create articles. And what it's doing is it's processing. Generally, this doesn't take that long. It takes maybe like five minutes at, at most. And you, it's generating that. What I wanna do, uh, I'm gonna go back to dashboard and we can, while it's generating, we can take a look at some of the other stuff. So we have topic clusters. So for example, let's create a cluster about, again, um, a, uh, top sports in Toronto. And let's create a cluster. And it gave you a bunch of clusters of top sports teams in Toronto. Uh, that's, so, okay. So these are these are all the keywords within the cluster itself. And then you can click on create articles. And all it does is it basically uh, adds all those keywords and it'll write, a key, it'll write an article for each keyword. And uh, you, you do the same thing. We just went through the whole process. Uh, also, if you just wanna, if you have a keyword in mind, then uh, you can just go to post scheduler and uh, you can just write a keyword to yourself. So like, you know, Toronto Raptors um, over their, over the last 15 years. And so each, um, each keyword you have here is an article that it'll create. So it did create the two articles that we just asked it to. Let's go over inpatient, uh, let's look at best rehab in the world and let's go to the editor. And it'll open up the editor and then you can, ha you, you know, these images, for example, they're not AI generated, um, but it does, I believe it does take it from Unsplash. And uh, you have the H1 here. And then you have, so for example, the Toronto Raptors are a professional basketball team located in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. They've gained re recognition. Oh, interesting. Interesting. So remember this, let's go back to post scheduler. Actually, let's go back to, I wrote the best rehab in the world and I asked in the article to add Toronto Raptors within the article, right? But the topic of the post was not the Toronto Raptors, it was the best rehab in the world. So if you click on edit, go back here, it started off with talking about the Toronto Raptors, so, but the, it's completely different to the actual article. So for example, the ultim, ultimate rehab, the best in the world, the Toronto Raptors are a professional basketball team located in Toronto, Canada. They've gained a recognition in the sports world for their creative approach to player re rehab. Uh, rehab. The company has invested heavily in building a state-of-the-art rehab facility that is revolutionizing how athletes recover from injuries. With the help of a group of exceptionally talented professionals and cutting-edge techniques, the Raptors rehab program has set a new standard for sports medicine and recu recuperation. T to be honest, uh, the topic itself, so th this this topic gets a little bit confusing because you have rehabs for sports. We also have addiction rehab or addiction uh, treatment, which is uh, different to the physical, like physio rehab that people do. So definitely didn't get the intent right. Uh, but I just want to see, like, if I copy this, right? Let's go to originality.io or .ai. And let's check. Uh, I don't want to waste too much of the credit. So I'm just going to go over, like, the first, uh, uh, maybe the first paragraph or so and it adds other information for example metrics like who knows if these are accurate numbers they're probably not and it goes over and added a video etc cetera, etc cetera. and then it's around 2,000 words so if we go copy this whole thing let's go to word count um, it's about 1,500 words uh, let's go back here um, and then let's go over and let's copy and copy this section here let's go to originality AI I'm gonna paste that there let's do the turbo 3.0 and then let's scan it. And in my opinion, it's probably definitely gonna be AI generated. Um, I'm not saying the, the content's bad necessarily. I think it's okay, but I think there's just, you're gonna have to do a lot to, as an SEO, as someone who does SEO day to day, it's just, you're gonna have to do a lot to make this better. And it's not, it, it's, you're just basically doing the whole thing all over again, which is, you know, 
it's, what's the point of that? So there's, it is 100% AI generated, and I tested with every single post that I gave it. It's 100% AI generated. So it definitely doesn't get the humanized part, right? Um, but what's my what's my key takeaway? I'm gonna give it a three out of five. I just think, I think there's not a lot of control. So for example, uh, if you guys take a look at my junior review, where you actually have a lot more control about all the keywords that, that you can add, the competitor keywords, et cetera, et cetera. There's not a lot of control. We can't select the actual model. They say 3.5 Sonnet, but I don't know if it's 3.5 Sonnet. It's not very clear to me. The style, like if we can have a custom style, that'd be a lot better, right? Humanize, like, what does that mean? What are, what are, what are the prompts that are going? Sometimes a lot of these tools, they have their own humanized prompt, but usually it's not humanized and the content just seems AI generated anyways. So I'm going to say three out of five and I'm probably going to return and refund um, this tool and, and probably not keep it. But yeah, I just, um, some, you know, I'll have a lot of videos where I'm happy with the tool and I'll recommend it. And I'll have a lot of videos where I'm not too happy with it and I won't recommend it. And so this is just one of those other tools where if someone is um, thinking about purchasing WP Auto Blog, then if they do come across this video, then this is uh, my recommendation. So yeah, until next time, take care. Uh, see you guys later. Bye.